What's up guys, Coach Hunter here, and if you're an endurance athlete, functional fitness athlete, OCR athlete, stay tuned, there's a lot to learn in this video. So check it out, we're here at the whiteboard. I've been working on this training program for a really long time, it's called the Ultimate Engine. Whether or not you join the program or just wanna learn, this is gonna be a great video to kind of teach you guys about being well-rounded and being basically ultimately prepared for anything. Uh, at the end of my season last year, I didn't feel like I had really that go, that ultimate well-roundedness that I usually have in a season. And I went back to the drawing board and I studied a bunch of different kinds of sports to find out how to really improve my athletic endeavors and also the athletes that I coach. So there was four sports that I studied and I studied all sports, but these four sports were the ones that really kind of stood out above the rest and how well-rounded they were and their strength, their stamina, and their speed. First is cross-country skiing. These are a full body athlete with the highest VO2 maxes of any athlete in the world that have been tested. And they have an incredible amount of power and endurance that allows them to sprint 3K efforts and basically be able to do 50 mile efforts at the same time. And that same athlete can cross both those distances and be prepared for it. And they tend to have incredible strength and endurance stamina as well. High Rocks is a sport that I compete in and they basically have a 60 minute test with eight physical capacities in the middle of it that come from all different factors of sport and physical fitness, that it's one of those kind of strength endurance tests that's incredibly well-rounded and all athletes should study it if you want to get better at your sport. And basically, last but not least are these two, which is rugby and rowing. Rugby is one of those kind of sports where they're as powerful as football players, but they're as fit as soccer players and endurance athletes. They have incredible amounts of power but they also have the endurance to last all games, sprinting up and down the field, tackling each other. It's an incredible sport that should be studied more often for, by athletes. And last but not least, rowing. Really large athletes, incredibly large volume of, of endurance capacity and strength because they're pulling that thing as hard as you can do for 2,000 meters plus. It's one of those kind of athletes where they tend to have a lot of muscle and power, but also a lot of endurance. And that's kind of the world that we need in right now. So of all those factors, I'm gonna drag it over here to this part of the whiteboard. And the key factors that I wanna work on improving my season and in this training program is strength, stamina, and speed. So strength is basically being able to have the power to go up against anything. Rugby, tackling somebody, cross country skiing, that explosive power, high rocks, pushing that sled, rowing, ripping that thing, and creating incredible amounts of watts. You need to have strength across the board as an athlete. Even as the, as the furthest d distance of an endurance athlete and even the most powerful athletes, strength is never weakness. Stamina is basically the ability to go through time and space and never get it tired. Whether it's a 5 miler, 15 miler, 50 miler, you should be able to continue to move through time and space without breaking down. So we're going to be working on stamina a lot. And speed is the factor of being able to be competitive with that stamina. So are you gonna show up to your race and be top of your age group, top of your you know, elite group or world champion? Speed is basically being game ready and being able to really hustle when it comes down to it. Last but not least is basically being honest that this is an open program, it's not custom. And a lot of these training programs that are given out around the world, they're not customized for you. So you have to really understand how to use that training program. So that's why I came up with what's called the training triangle. Understanding that these blocks um, kind of diminishing amount of time, but also in its value, recovery and endurance being the bottom, that's your main base. And it's not super sexy, but basically it's gonna allow you to move through time and space longer and also recover you from more intense strength and uh, intense strength work and uh, you know, lactic work. Strength is one of those kind of things where if you're not an Olympic lifting athlete, power lifting athlete, or a bodybuilder, you don't need to be in the gym all the time. You need to be in the gym about two to four days a week, either maintaining your strength or just slightly increasing it, and that will improve all other factors of your athletics as long as it doesn't drain from the main factor of you being an athlete, not a gym athlete. And then last but not least is the intensity factor. Now this is the tip of the spear. You're gonna actually spend the least amount of time doing intensity work, but that's the most beneficial part of the training and moving the needle. It's gonna help you improve the most when it comes time to race or compete or actually even change the way your body looks. So, and we're gonna drag it over here to the last factor. And that's the most important part of this puzzle is how are we gonna put it all together? So what I've studied is you can either train strength or you can train endurance. And there's a lot of sports together today that are trying to put both of those together. And people are trying to figure out how can I be my strongest and how can I be my fittest? So what I came up with is this 
four, three, two recovery uh, cycle. First week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do four intensity sessions. That's typically a lot for most athletes, but what you're gonna do is you're also gonna drop the overall volume of your training so you're prepared to handle these four sessions. The following week, we're gonna do three intensity sessions, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the overall volume, and that's when you're gonna to start to pick up that stamina work. And then the last week, you're only gonna do two intensity sessions, but you're gonna have the highest level of volume total. So what you're doing is you're training both ends of the spectrum all in one four week cycle. This improvement of intensity right here is the most important factor in moving the tip of the triangle. And these last weeks right here are gonna build the bottom of the triangle right here. So with this unique method, I'm basically trying to figure out how to improve all of these sports or your sport through an open program that everyone can improve on. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope this explains what the ultimate engine is going to be, or at least explains what you guys can help do to improve your own sport on your own. If you guys are interested, our program's opening up January 24th. All athletes are allowed. Uh, if you guys have any questions, contact us at House Training. Thank you guys so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you guys at Startline soon.